So the first group we're going to examine are the euglenozoans. The euglenozoans belong to the supergroup Excavata, and Excavata then has three different clades, the diplomonads, the parabosylids, and the euglenozoans. For the Excavata then, they're characterized by a concave or excavated area on the side of the cell. And not all members of Excavata actually exhibit this um, um, excavated structure. Right? The diplomonads is a good example of one that does, the euglenozoans does not. Now what we're going to look at then are the euglenozoans. So here is our culture of euglenozoans, or euglena. And I'm going to quickly make a wet mount of the euglena, and then from that wet mount we'll transfer it to the microscope, and you can see it under the microscope. Now the euglena are easy because everything is green in there, so every single drop in here has some euglena. I can easily just take a drop, and from that drop, then just grab a cover slip and apply the cover slip to the top. And then I am all set and ready to go. All right, so here is our euglenid culture under the 10X. We can see two euglenids here that are not moving too much. There's a euglenid coming in that's moving a lot more. And you see it swimming through. Now what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to focus then center increase our magnification to our 40x magnification. Go ahead and focus again. You can see how it's nice and green. See all those chloroplasts inside. And this one's not moving too much, which is good. We'll increase the light a little bit. Try to increase that resolution so we can see it better. Now these guys are pretty small. A lot of the um, protozoans you'll be looking at today are going to be a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can slowly get that in focus here. I'll center it. We're actually going to go under oil immersion on this guy. Okay, and there we go. There's our Euglena under 100x magnification. You can see a lot on it, and you can actually see that flagell on there. I'm going to change the lighting on it here. Get more resolution. You can see a little red spot down on the right side being the stigma. You can see the chloroplasts everywhere. And if I focus it just right, you can actually see the flagellum wiggling around down there on the side of the stigma. See that flagellum? Right there, we can see that flagellum wiggling around down near that stigma. Okay, so that's a good view of that guy. And that looks Good, definitely photosynthetic with plastids. The stigma is kind of cool because the stigma is an eye spot. And that eye spot then senses light and allows it to move to where the light is. Okay, so very, very important for these organisms.